Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't matter to me, so let's jump into it. And today I will be talking about two Marvel characters that go by Turbo. The first Turbo made his first appearance in New Warriors issue 28 in October of 1992. The second made her first appearance in the same title, but in issue 33 in March of 1993. They were created by Evan Skolnick, Dwight Coy, and James Brock. The torpedo armor was created by a magical, shape-shifting, extraterrestrial race called Dire Wraiths. It was composed of both Dire Wraith technology and human technology. The turbines around the wrist and the ankles allowed the user flight and the ability to project powerful blasts of air. As the creator tries to escape with the armor, he unfortunately dies. However, before his death, the armor was given to Brock Jones, who used the armor to become the superhero Torpedo, but that's a story for a different time. The torpedo armor would be picked up by a guy named Michael Jeffries, who discovered it at a Halloween costume party. Finding out that the armor belongs to Brock Jones, Michael would show his friend, Mickey, the armor, and they began taking turns using the armor. The two used the armor for different purposes, as Michael uses it to become a superhero, and Mickey uses it for traveling but she eventually used the armor for heroism as she was trying to take down a gang of weapon smugglers. This heroic act would cause her to encounter the superhero team called the New Warriors. She and the New Warriors teamed up to take down its leader named Sea Urchin. Michael would also encounter the Warriors when Darkling was attacking Manhattan using the energy from the Dark Force Dimension. Darkling is a mutant that has the ability of accessing the Dark Force Dimension. Both Michael and Mickey were attacked by the Air Force during training. Afterwards, Mickey would become a member of the team and she continues taking turns sharing the armor with her friend. However, things suddenly took a turn on Michael's behalf. Michael was unfortunately killed by the Dire Wraith Queen as she noticed the torpedo armor he was using. Impersonating herself as Michael, she tricked the warriors into handing over the armor. Thankfully, she was killed by the new warriors member Night Thrasher. To honor her friend, she continues as Turbo and will soon after fall in love with Firestrike, a member of the superhero team called Heavy Metal. But their relationship was short-lived due to his placement in the Witness Protection Program. Mickey would soon retire as a superhero and speaking of retired heroes, she forms a retired superheroes group called Elixir. Her retirement was short-lived and she's seen in the Loners miniseries. Mickey is last seen at Avengers Academy. Now let's move on to their powers and abilities. Despite their armor looking goofy, the suit allows the user to travel through supersonic speeds, flight, low-level force fields, project a concursive force blast which is nicknamed Turbo Punch, which is powerful enough to deliver a tremendous amount of force, it can be fully powered if the user uses both their fists together. She has super strength and can detect dire race. 